Amber Middleton made headlines in 2017 on her wedding day, but the public seemed far more interested in her shiny new brother-in-law. Reality TV star Spencer Matthews might have made a splash when his older brother James Matthews wed into the Middleton family, but here's how he'd already been heating things up for years. Learning all sorts today. Matthews rose to prominence while starring on the BAFTA-winning Made in Chelsea show, a reality series that follows the exploits of affluent young adults living in London. Chelsea is home to a number of rich and famous Brits, but Matthews was born in the more modest Sheffield. He told The Sun, I got sent to a posh school, so that's why I speak like this. I'm actually northern at heart. The son of a motor trade and luxury hotel mogul, Spears estimates Matthew's net worth at around $3.8 million as of 2019. I would say that my family are, are, are proud of what I'm doing. I'd say I wouldn't say they were jealous. They've got, you know, quite a lot of stuff to be happy with themselves. Matthews appeared in the very first episode of Made in Chelsea and went on to become one of the longest-serving cast members. But by 2015, he'd starred in 10 seasons of the show and was ready to move on, telling Digital Spy, I'd love to help out the show if they feel like they needed me in a scene, but I'm not looking to go back to Made in Chelsea as a cast member again. Hoping it would expose him to a wider audience, Matthews joined I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here and lasted just three days. This is amazing. Like, I love it out there. No problem. The actor was booted by Network Brass after he admitted to using steroids. He told the BBC he hadn't realised he was in the wrong, admitting, When the reality came in that I was going home on the third day, I was just absolutely devastated. I was under the impression recreational use of steroids was fine, especially as they seemed to be, very worryingly, readily available. In 2018, Matthews returned to reality TV via Celebrity MasterChef. Don't worry about me, chef. I have burnt myself a couple of times, but there's no, uh, there's no stopping us. He made the final, but the move was called into question over allegations that he'd been secretly getting lessons from multi-Michelin star chef Jean-Christophe Novelli. One irate fan tweeted via The Express, There is no way that Spencer should win Celebrity Masterchef having had private tuition from a Michelin star chef. So what really went down? Matthews revealed on Sunday Brunch in 2019, Honestly, I got help off of Pal, but it wasn't Novelli. John Christophe Novelli, he was saying it was true. My friend James Lowe felt very deflated. James Lowe helped me cheat. In the end, it still wasn't enough to secure him the MasterChef crown. Just ahead of his appearance on The Jump, Matthews insisted he wasn't looking for love on the show, telling Hello, I'm focusing far too much on the competition to be worrying about ladies. Well, obviously I have my eye on them, but I'm making an effort to remain focused on the end prize, which is winning the show. He did win the show, but he also won the heart of fellow contestant Vogue Williams. Are you two a couple? She, well, she doesn't like calling that. We're actually, we're, we're probably, we've got a kid on the way, I think, and we're pretty much, we've, we've got impending nuptials. Williams is best known for her appearance on Dancing with the Stars and Bear Grylls' Mission Survive. The Irish model and TV personality won her season of Mission Survive, but perhaps her greatest achievement to date is taming Spencer. The pair tied the knot on his family's 30,000-acre Scottish estate in 2018. Matthews told Hello, It has gone down with many as the best wedding they've ever been to. We were surrounded by the people we love. The couple welcomed a son, Theodore, in September 2018, and of course he appeared on reality TV before he was even born. In 2018, Channel 4 commissioned a new series promising viewers a peek into the lives of their favourite reality stars with Spencer Vogue and Baby 2. Matthews told the Daily Mail of the show, It's shot more in a docuseries type way, really. There is zero structure to it and it's very free-flowing. It's almost a bit like unscripted comedy. It's funny. Yeah, the dog's mental health is pretty high on my level of interest, given that we have a new infant. I want ever. When the first episode dropped in January 2019, viewers loved it. Even the biggest critics of the couple couldn't help but be sucked in. The Irish Times wrote in its review, A show starring ex-made in Chelsea Supertoff Matthews and politically misinformed model Williams should be a shallow, irritating display of affluence and privilege. But, ridiculous purchases and fancy cars aside, the series is strangely charming and sweet. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favourite stuff are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.